Welcome back to the VST channel guys. That's my Xiaomi 14 Pro and yesterday I installed the Xiaomi EU Hyper OS which is actually a custom ROM uses the China Hyper OS as a basis but has a lot of nice tweaks and tips and tricks and also of course it's globalized so it has a lot of languages to get a story. So the idea of this video is to rerun some of the benchmarks and see if I'm gonna get the same results as I got with the HyperOS China version. Yesterday I rerun already the Geekbench 6 and I get 2104 on single core versus 6700 on the multi-core score and actually it's been a bit better compared to what I've been using before. Also what I want to do guys I'm gonna go inside the battery and I'm going to change the balance to the performance mode. I'm going to initiate a CPU throttling test guys and I'm also gonna go inside use 100 number of threads run it for some quality time try to also display the temperature and see what happens so without any further ado guys sip your throttling test on the xiaomi 14 pro using the eu version let's check the temps to know what is the starting baseline 32 and to make it even more interesting guys i will drop in here my s23 ultra using the snapdragon 8 gen 2 and just let's see what is going to happen all right and also measuring the temperature on the s23 ultra 26 starting one let me set up the display all right and now we can enjoy the throttling test and see who is going to win of course xiaomi 14 pro started one minute ahead so we are giving some breathing space for the S23 Ultra and the Agent 2. But let's be back here in a while and see what happens. Please pay attention to the performance. Okay, this is the calculations done. And also the performance of a time graph. And the legend is green is good, orange is bad. Let's keep looking. Now an interesting finding after 18 minutes on the Xiaomi 14 Pro and 70 minutes on the S23 Ultra guys, the Agent 2, now apparently throttling more, it's less than 80%. We can also see the performance 300, 320 versus 400 GIPS. And I'm going to also measure the temps right now so that we check what is happening. The S23 Ultra running at 42.6 and the Xiaomi 14 Pro 46.3. But it seems that for the first 20 minutes on the Xiaomi 14 Pro, guys, the results are a bit better. So I would expect, if I stop this right now, that the Xiaomi 14 Pro at the 8 Gen 3 would have throttled less. But let's keep on this test and let's just see how much more we're going to get in terms of throttling and performance degradation and also heat. After 21 minutes of CPU throttling with 100 threads, the edge into performance drops and we have 42 Celsius on the S23 Ultra and we have 46.8 on the Xiaomi, still maintaining over 80% performance and you can also see the performance indication here. Now, 100 threads is a lot and apparently the edge 2 is already struggling. I can explain this with the fact that the Galaxy phones are optimized to not go over 44 45 so right now at 42 i guess that the phone is kicking in some thermals management to try to limit the performance and limit the hit now potentially we can also see that the xiaomi 14 pro is doing 46 celsius we know that this phone can go crazy like 50 so this is just a different the thermal management implementation xiaomi devices tend to run hotter and can get you some nice sweet performance uh, but the thing is how is this going to work for you over a longer period of time if you use this phone for two three years i don't know but right now that's what we see on the screen and the s23 ultra is trying to regain some of the performance maybe the phone managed to cool down a bit uh, actually yes see guys 41.3 i measured the exact same spot so the moment the phone cools down a bit below 42 it tries to bump up the performance to circa like 80 percent let's just keep this test for a bit more to see what is going to happen uh, and i can tell you both phones really feel hot 46 here to 41 42 on the s23 ultra After almost 45 minutes, guys, the Xiaomi 14 Pro is running 47 
and it started to also drop performance, but then was able to very quickly recover. And this is the situation that we experience on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, 42.5, definitely below 80%. Let's see at the end. The end result will be important so that we're able to measure. All right, guys. The test is about to be fully completed on my Xiaomi 14 Pro, so 60 minutes straight. And the Xiaomi finishes with 47.4, 46.5. Let me also try to measure, oh wow, 49.3 guys. And I can tell you, 49, it's already very hot, but the CPU throttlet to 69% of its performance in general, it's, it's not ideal, but you can see all these drops here, but this is what we get while, remember, I'm using the Xiaomi EU Hyper OS version, so it's not the China Hyper OS. Still, I think it's a, an acceptable result. Now, I'm just interested to see how much we're gonna get from the S23 Ultra. I expect to be below the 69% just because of these drops, but we have to wait and see. Please also note that I have 20.1 Celsius ambient temperature, so it's technically, yeah, I would say a nice ambient temperature for the phones to perform. And now the test ends also on the S23 Ultra. Let me just first do some measurement, guys. 42.7 on the front, 41.3. Uh, also, phones feels hot, 42.8. All right, so technically running something like eight degrees lower. While I was measuring the temperature, I managed to get rid of the results. So luckily I was recording the video. So we now have 64%. So this was the graph that we achieved on the S23 Ultra. 64% throttling of its max performance. We can also see that the max GIPS was 435. The max GIPS here was 509. The average is also very important, guys. After one hour of CPU thermal throttling tests with 100 threads, we have 432 in average. And here we have 344, so it clearly that the Agent 3 with the Xiaomi U HyperOS performs better. The minimal is 258, and the minimal here is 276. The drops here, right, are bigger than the drops here, but overall, I would say it's very equal, 69% of the max performance, but the max performance here is 509. Here we have 64% of the max performance, but the max performance is 435. And if you like content like this, don't hesitate, hit that subscribe button and make sure to check my all other previous videos where I tested the Xiaomi 14 Pro against the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra.